Happy 4th of July, everybody. This is Giselle Turi. I'm at Veterans Lake again. Different area this time, but there's just so much life. The different sounds, cicadas, crickets, birds. <laughs> wow, I'm sure you can hear it. Today's been a laid back day for me for the most part. And I've been spending a lot of time in my apartment. And when I looked out the window, the angel of sun called me and then the angel of water called me. So I came back to the lake. And just wanted to wish everyone a happy 4th. Happy Independence Day. And I'd like to ask you what independence means to you, and please feel free to write a comment for me. That would be great. But would like to know what that means for you, and do you feel that you really are independent? I had to ask myself that question, and I looked at it kind of from the macrocosmic view, and then brought it further in to the microcosmic view. So the, the bigger view is, yes, I have the freedom as a woman to be able to do so much more in this country than so many women have in other countries. And I have the freedom to hop in my car and go whenever I want to. Um, I have my own place, which to me is a blessing and a, a sense of freedom. And then, so, you know, from a broad scope, and I, I ask you to think along these lines, too, and think about this for your own life. You know, like I said, in the, the broader scope of things, the macrocosm, and the smaller, bringing it closer, more personal, the microcosm. And when I look at that, I'm going... Is this, am I fully, think about this, <laughs> am I, and I will ask you, are you fully and completely independent? And if so, great. If not, how do you see that for yourself? What does that look like? What does it feel like? To me, full and true independence is to be able to do, be, and have whatever it is I desire and to live a fulfilling life, you know, doing what I love and um, being monetarily compensated for it in a way that I have the time and the money freedom. And that's my explanation of true independence. So I just wanted to leave that with you to think about. Leave me any comments. And then, um, hello. Hi. <laughs> and then um, think about that. Think about that question. I think it's important. Um, you know, Independence Day is not just about a, a historic event. Yeah, yeah, that's important too, but to really bring it home to your own, in your own personal life, I think it's important. Because, yeah, although events in history were very important too, the day-to-day -day things that we do, the way we feel, the way we're living our life, are we being true to ourselves in the way we're living that life? All of that is more important because... It's about now, and this is the only time we have. And, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts and a lot of people that I follow that that keeps coming up more and more. And that's basically, am I being true to myself? Am I living the type of life that I want to live for myself? And so I feel like... Um, Every day, that's something I want to focus on, is, is how can I make my life better 
in a way that is more fulfilling to me, uh, which puts me in the position to be able to make a bigger difference in not only my life, but the life of the people I love and the people that I share my videos with. I think that's really important. I mean, we're not randomly plopped in this space and time. We're here for a reason. And um, especially during this time. And I think that, you know, we all have a voice. We all need to speak up. And that doesn't mean trying to convince people of your way. That doesn't mean you're right and everyone else is wrong. <laughs> that means without judgment. That means from a space of love. And that means also speaking in a way that uplifts everyone. Not just you, but everyone. Because ultimately, we want to live in a loving, compassionate world. And we're each responsible for that. And I really feel that instead of depending on our political leaders, which I can honestly say I don't really have a lot of faith in, no matter who it is, <laughs> um, I think ultimately it's up to us as individuals to step forward in a much bigger way. You'll hear me say ultrea. Ultrea means move forward in courage and in love. So ultrea, everyone. Step up in a bigger way. Express from a space of love. Let's make a difference um, in making this world a much better place for all of us <clears throat> and for future generations. Okay. So, have a beautiful rest of your day and know I love you. And until next time, we'll try you. Move forward with courage and in love. Bye-bye.